Medals have been trickling in for the Belizean contingent at the Central American Games in Managua, Nicaragua. Up to date, they have earned four medals. Last week, the basketball team, under the coaching of Milton Palacio, played Costa Rica for the bronze medal and won. I'm looking at the glory, man, because we fight hard for that bronze. I know we want to bring back gold, but we do the best with the time that we had to work with and the team that we bring. And the guys just, you know, he's a good player for Coach Milton. He, he brings a lot, and he brings a lot of professionalism and a high sense of urgency where we don't believe so used to. But hats off to all of the guys from the team, man. They work through it, we play, and we get something. We get a bronze. I don't know me, and I told them, it's not about the players, it's not about In athletics, two of Belize's representatives medaled. Veteran athlete Tricia Flores took a bronze in long jump. She retires from the athletics stage for Belize after the Central American Games. Katie Seeley got the silver in heptathlon. Yes, I was the, the, the record holder, but this competition was really difficult for me. And so I was like in fifth place when the competition started, all up until my final jump, when I jumped myself to the third place. Okay. I believe so, I did my best. What can you say about your, about your competitors, first and second place? Well, um, they, I have been competing with them already over the years. And of course, I have defeated them over the years. But they are younger than I am. So um, I'm seeing where, you know, um, the level is really, the level for a long jump is going higher. Is increasing and so I am getting older so <laughs> I'm actually I'm looking towards retirement right. so, but they are really good jumpers though okay so what's next for, for Teresa Flores well um, in terms of the competition I still have the 4x1 relay and the 4x4 and after that that's it as I'm going to retire right. there won't be any more competition for me it's going pretty well I'm quite pleased um, hurdles were solid our jump was solid, shot put solid. Um, should be on for a personal best. Um, and I'm in the silver medal position at the moment, so as long as things keep going well, I should bring a medal home. But there are those who failed to medal and others who have lost matches but still trying to qualify for a medal position. Beach volleyball fought valiantly against their experienced Central American counterparts but left without a medal. In football, Belize lost to Honduras by five goals in one of their matches. Rennick James failed to get a bronze medal in judo in a match against Guatemala. The Belize team did pretty well, um, you know, being that this is the first time they're playing together. Um, they took uh, Honduras to a three, uh, third set and they also took Panama to a third set. So that's, that's very impressive, um, being a young team, uh, first time playing together. So are they out, are they out now? Uh, they're, they're done for the tournament. Um, they ended up in uh, seventh place. It was a very intense game, to be honest. We didn't. Uh, we expected um, Honduras to play hard the first 15 minutes of the game, uh, but they pressured more than 15 minutes, and that's what uh, caught us off guard. And um, we got uh, about two to three goals in the first half, and that kind of uh, killed most uh, of our players' um, uh, morale. But. Um, Nevertheless, we tried and we did our best. The reason why I lost to Guatemala, we was going for the bronze. That, that was the bronze match. The reason why I lost is because I was being too, too patient with him. And if, you, if you're trying to take too much time, the referee is going to give you a shield. Oh, okay. It's a warning. So I got three warnings and he won. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.